Let me talk to you guys real quick about Amazon. I'm introducing a new Amazon storefront. And what I'm gonna be doing is over the next couple of videos, I'm gonna review a couple of different services, a couple of different products, and give recommendations on some things that I will use and I will give my stamp of approval. We have different things that are going on and different products I wanna to try to test out, I wanna use. So hopefully this channel can be the destination for you guys to at least observe, or if you can recommend it to a friend or to someone else that may be able to use it. And it's not just gonna be limited to just athletic things or sports related things, but we're gonna have all different type of unboxings, all different type of products, all different type of services that I want you guys, the listener, to check out. So again, these next couple of videos, these next couple of audio editions will be powered by Amazon. So make sure you hit the link in the description. So give it a test out. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm glad you guys can join me. Um, got a few updates, a few things I kind of want to kind of want to talk about um, on this episode. I know I got um, man a lot to kind of talk about. Man, we we jumping into the thick of things with the uh, the new basketball season. Uh, man, it's here, it's upon us. Um, and uh, what I want to do is kind of kind of get folks caught up to speed on what's been going on with our dragons kind of give you some updates on what's been going on with uh with myself with coach man coach bt you know i wear many many hats uh but uh man I, i'm just i'm just glad and, and, and grateful that you guys man to take some little time out of your or your busy schedule busy holiday season to kind of you know listen to some of the things that i have to say some of the things i have to uh to kind of talk about so before we get going um, this video right here is going to be powered by our good friends over at Amazon. Um, if you haven't noticed or if you if you if you don't know, um, I have what they call a uh, Amazon influencers uh, sponsorship. So, well, within the description of this video, you can link on link in the uh, in the description and kind of just check out some products that I have over there uh, as far as man, everything that you would need for your coaching experience. Um, if you're getting into little league coaching, you're getting into uh, any type of coaching whatsoever with dealing with kids, man, you can go over there to my Amazon store and kind of check out some of the products that I have. Now on the flip side of that, you know, uh, sports and activities is just a small part of your day. So uh, I also added um, some, what I call some winning products for folks to just kind of make sure that you know, you staying up to date and up to speed on some of the, the great things out there, whether if it's, if it's parenting, if it's, uh, you know, you trying to be the best version of, of, of yourself as far as manhood, the best version of yourself as far as a brother, a leader. Um, I got some good products over there for you as well. OK, um, if we're if you're watching this on YouTube, go over, subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you hit the like button on this video um, or, uh, you know, uh, write a comment basically saying, Coach, man, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling this, this video or the message that you were trying to convey or drop in this video. Man, come back on the next go round. And I'm cool with that. So uh, just let that be known. But um, again, just make sure that you, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel so you can kind of see all of the great things that I have going on. All right. Also. We are still partnering with our good friends over at SeatGeek. All right, use promo code Coach Turner for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Um, still, again, the holiday season, man. You got some great shows, some legends coming in town. Uh, you got all different types of shows, man. So, uh, type in SeatGeek on your app, um, on your phone, smartphone. Look and see what all of the upcoming concerts are, and uh, you get twenty dollars off your first purchase. Uh, uh, basically on coach turner so on coach bt so um just make sure you look out for those things now excuse me so with this episode what i kind of want to discuss and i kind of want to talk about this is going to be a message for my, my all my coaches out there whether if it's a high school coach little league coach um basketball coach you know uh really this is going to kind of hit home with, with, with our high school coaches um, at the beginning of the year. And what, what I want you guys to kind of know and kind of focus on that, you know, you're, you're not alone with some of the ups and the downs that you go through 
throughout the season. You know, coming into this season, I feel like I have a great team. Um, this is probably like one of the the, the best teams I, I feel like from from one to twelve that I've had in a while. Um, great kids, great hardworking kids, talent, size, um, but I mean they're young, and and me knowing that. One thing that you have to do and you have to realize, um, you, you got to keep conveying to these guys to stick together, okay? Stick together, stick together, stick together. Because again, this is not, um, uh, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And I've learned some of these valuable lessons, man, throughout my man, 10, 11 year coaching career. Of, uh, it's, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And then even on how you finish, what are the some what are some of the lessons that were learned um, throughout the year? Because at the end of the day, it's a journey. Um, when you when you define the word coach, coach just means basically getting someone from one particular place to the next. And you can do that in so many different ways. But again, I don't want folks to just, you know, it's early. You know, you may have a five point loss or a one point loss or you may have a loss where you got beat by 20 and you just ready to just, man, just just give up. Coaches, I want you to stay encouraged. You know, I want you to dig deep and just find a way to keep motivating, constantly motivate, and not just motivate your team, but motivating the people that are around you, motivating the people that are inside your house because you wear so many hats as a coach and you have a big influence. And 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 the games are not always won on the scoreboard, so you got to make sure that during these tough time tough times at the beginning of the year. Is, is please don't pack it in, man. Stay encouraged. Continue to try to uh, uh, build confidence in your team and let them know to stick together. Okay? So that's just my message from, from, from me to you. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that uh, you can find a gem in, in that message, uh, no matter how you, how you swing it or how you look at it. Okay? I want you guys to make sure that you realize that you, you have to take ownership in the situation. This is something that you signed up for. And so by meaning that, you can't put the blame on anybody else. You can't put the blame on saying, oh, man, I got a terrible group of kids. Or these kids are not talented at all. These kids are not skilled at all. You know, Take responsibility and own it. It should be some things that you should be doing as a coach to get your team better. It should be some things you're doing as a coach to motivate your team to try to get better because you decided to get put in this situation and you decided to be a leader of young men and women, okay? So stay encouraged. Take ownership of your situation. Take ownership of your team. Take ownership of your program, okay? Because at the end of the day, everyone knows that, you know, when you're in coaching, you got some great players and some elite players and some guys who could just flat out play, you're one of the best coaches in the world, one of the best coaches in the area, one of the best coaches in the state. When you don't have those horses, when you don't have those elite players, can you continue to be that type of coach no matter what? And that's one thing I want you guys to just encourage yourself to try to do no matter what. Because you are a leader. Okay? You will take ownership of your team. And, and make sure that you have people around you that, that keep conveying that type of message. Every year I tell folks, every year I usually give my, my coaches, uh, my assistant coaches, a, a reading assignment. We may do it in the summertime. We may do it in the, uh, in the heart of the season. Uh, but some of the best teams that I've had, we've had those assignments and we've kind of echoed those books all year round. Okay? Uh, I could just remember a couple years ago, we did the, the book on the energy bus and making sure we had positive energy always around us. Uh, making sure that we eliminated some of those those what we call turds on the team who just want to just be a part of the team, but again they don't want to take ownership in the team, and they and they using the team as just like you know like like it's a fad or just like it's something to just uh, something to do or just like an after school program, okay? But really not trying to get the the most and the best out of it because it's only a small percentage of it that's that's actually played in games. You know, this is a lifestyle that you have to commit to. And the, and the ultimate success is sacrifice. And a lot of it's, it's hard for a lot of 
teenagers to understand that, you know, they're thinking that you could just come on to something and it's just going to be without making any type of sacrifice. Okay? But one one uh, reading that we've always talked about was the energy bus. So now this year, um, again, I'm echoing that same type of notion of sticking together. So we're, we're reading a book called Stick Together, a, a simple lesson in building a stronger team. OK, and I will have this uh, kind of see that. I will have this book inside my Amazon store and, and a link that you guys can kind of check out and uh, kind of dive into it because, I mean, it, it checks all of the boxes when it comes to just building a strong team. And that team doesn't always have to be a sports team. You could just be meaning the, the, the strong team of, you know, you may be a director of a company. You may be a supervisor of a team or or business and uh, you need to build a stronger rapport with your team. This is a great book to kind of kind of dive into, and it's 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 an easy read. A lot of these books are, are, are the most powerful. The most powerful books are the smallest books that have the greatest impact. So, I want you guys to just make sure that you you know you're able to just take ownership in your situation, take ownership of your team, make sure that you guys stick together no matter what, um, and then understand too that uh, our mistakes, our, our mistakes and our failures. You know, they don't they don't uh, they don't define us. Okay? Our mistakes and our failures do not define us. What they do is, you know, you can look at losses as lessons and, and what they will do, they will start refinding. So, again, like I said, man, your your failures and, and your losses or won't be the things that define you. They're, they'll be the things that, that will refine you. And make you a better person and, and, and put you in a situation where you can recall certain things and say, oh, man, yeah, I can't I can't go back down that same road and, and do that exact same thing again. I've learned my lesson from that and I'm going to be a better person in the long run when I do that. So make sure that you uh, you just keep that notion, you know, in, in the back of your head. So um, what I want to do again, I want to make sure that you guys uh just kind of just take that, take that little gem, take that little nugget and kind of go, go wherever you want to go with it. Okay. What they, what they say, uh, uh, chew the meat and spit out the bone, whatever you can take from this, take from this. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I just want to drop that little gem on you guys, man, because I know it's early in the year, you know, I've, I've went to a couple of, uh, uh, uh tournament seed meetings. I went to a, have sat in on a couple of, couple of, uh, of meetings and talk to a couple coaches and, and after the four or four or five games they're ready to pack it in they ready to give up right now they, they scratching their head and they waiting for spring break you know but as we all know man with basketball season man it's, it's the longest season you can get playing around thanksgiving and you won't finish to the springtime spring break so stay encouraged take ownership and stick together see you on the next video